hi guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video i am so excited i'm going to be playing with some new items from the pat mcgrath obsessive opulence collection we have the ritualistic rose blitz astral quad and then this is a brand new formula the chroma Lux highlight cream so if you want to hear my thoughts on these two new products then just keep watching So we are going to do this video in a bit of a different style than I normally do my reviews. Today's going to be more of a first impressions, try on live for you guys kind of video. Normally I like to really thoroughly test out the product before I actually talk about it, but I am so familiar with Pat McGrath products and I also just was not planning on filming today. So I feel like for today, this is the best way to do it. So let's talk about the Blitz Astral Quad in Ritualistic Rose. So this comes in the really pretty pink packaging with the diamond bows, really cute. Obviously, this is the third palette in the collection. I would recommend you check out my other video that I did on the other two palettes. So this is the third one. It actually was released later than the other two, which is kind of weird, really annoying, honestly. I had to make two separate orders, but it's in my hands, so I'm not going to complain. So this one's going to get all of the attention today. So like I said, this is Ritualistic Rose, and if you didn't see my last video, these are like in the style of her regular 10 pan mothership palettes, except it's just a quad with the same packaging but it does feature four of her blitz astral formula which is the formula that makes her line unique so this is 65 dollars which is very expensive so we're gonna do some live swatching for you guys on this so i'm gonna go this one then this one then this one then this one so here we have a gold color okay that's a little bit sheer and then this one I was most excited for. This is like the most beautiful color I've ever seen. This is definitely that super glittery formula of hers that is super unique. I would like it to be a bit more pigmented because it's kind of acting as a lid topper, but it's still stunning. So this color is more of a rose. Again, a little less pigmented than I would prefer, but I mean, it's absolutely stunning. So you have more of a deeper rose pink and then this one is such a light kind of fairy pink and then finally you have this brown shade which is more bronze really stunning and this one definitely has the most packed pigmentation in the squad when i first swatched these when i first opened the package i was kind of underwhelmed i felt like none of them had really great pigmentation but these shadows are all about the actual finish so i know they're going to be stunning on the lid but i will say of the three i feel like this has the least amount of base color to it but it also has like the prettiest color scheme as well so it's like which one do you want you know and then i also picked up the chroma Lux highlight cream now she, there were two that came out there is a blue one it's called astral blue star i knew i wasn't going to use that so i picked up the pale gold so this is in the pink packaging and this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be it's like a tiny oops okay it's like a tiny itty bitty little paint and you had to do that thing where you flip it over and you had to poke it to get the color to come out and yeah it's literally like a little paint so I'm gonna stand up and show you sorry guys this is not professional at all so that's what the cream looks like. It's kind of white. You probably won't be able to notice, but I feel like there's not a ton of product in this either. Like it's all the way down here, but I put way too much product on my arm. But hold on. But once you spread it out, here's what we're looking like. Really glittery and pretty. Ooh. So I feel like this for me is going to work better on my eyes, but... For somebody with a deep skin tone, do you know how pretty that's going to be on your cheekbones? So I'm going to put the extra product because I don't want to waste it. So I need to change out the battery on my camera really, really quickly. So first things first, we are going to go ahead and play with the quad. So we're going to zoom you in. I think the first color we're going to go into is the brown shade. And this is going to look really pretty all over the lid for a bronze kind of smoky eye. I'm gonna put it the tiniest bit in this corner because I really don't want this look to be all about the brown. Like right here is just where it's going. I find this color to be a little bit too shimmery to work in the crease 
alone, I probably would just dig into another palette. But that's what these quads are for. They're not necessarily to create whole looks. They're just her really special formula that you can pair with other things. Like her palettes, for instance, that do have matte shades. That did blend out to add just a touch of definition. And that all over the lid with a matte brown in the crease or even just your bronzer is going to be stunning. I'm mostly just going to use my fingers because that's the best way to use these shadows or over top of a glitter glue. If you use these shadows on top of a glitter glue, the finish on your eye is going to be literal insanity, but I do just want to show you them dry because they look great dry too. And so we're going to start off with the rose shade, which looks like this, and I'm going to press that just right out here. So this color I wish had a touch more pigmentation to it. I think though using this over glitter glue would solve that because it does have some pigmentation there, but I feel like if it just had just a little bit more, I would like it a little bit better. But it still is absolutely stunning. I think over glitter glue that's going to be stunning. But even just all over the lid, this is really pretty for that rose touch. Okay, and then we're going to play with this one, which this is the one that caught my eye, of course. <clears throat> yes. I mean, this particular palette, I think, is the glitteriest or the most glittery of the bunch. So if you really like her glitter formula, this is the way to go because you're getting a lot of the glitter lid topper formula that she has. And I'm going to just take a little bit of the gold shade on a pointer brush and sneak that right in here. So this complements that shade I just put on before because there is such a strong golden shift to it. So basically I just have like an hot shimmer lid, but I like it. Holy moly. I'm going to run a touch of the bronze on my lower lash line for some definition. So I definitely think this quad is more of like a lid topper palette. Kind of using them in conjunction to create a look is possible, but it's just not the easiest thing in the world. So let's quickly move on to the Chromalux Highlight Cream. So like I said earlier before, this is $30, and it's a gel cream highlighter. Shines with radiant glittering effects for the eyes and face. And yeah, so I think I will prefer this more for the eyes, but let's play around. That's what videos are for. So I'm going to take that leftover extra that I had, and I'm going to use that on the pencil brush that I just used. And it's already kind of dried up and become clumpy as it's been sitting in the air so this may not be the best idea but i just want to put a touch of it right in my inner corner yeah so this does seem to dry and become chunky good to know so you kind of got to use it fresh out of the bottle so don't squeeze out a ton like i did wow you guys this is so glittery putting that under my brow bone Okay, so I'm going to squeeze just a touch out. I'm going to regret this, but we're going to put it on my cheeks. It just seems to have such a strong shift to it. Oh my gosh, this is really glittery. This is reminding me of the Stila Glitter and Glow highlight that I hated. I just don't think glitter as a highlight is for me. And it's definitely drying as it hits the air pretty quickly. So you gotta move kind of fast. I bet you the staying power on this is crazy. Okay, so just so you can see, that is how that's looking. I think this is a really cool formula. I just think as a highlighter, it's a little bit glittery. <laughs> so I personally don't find it to be the most flattering. But I'm gonna finish the rest of my face makeup and I will be back to give you my final thoughts on these products. All right, so I'm back with the final look. I didn't do like a full, full look with liner lashes, all of that, because honestly, I kind of look like I got smacked in the face with glitter. I'm not mad at it though. But yeah, as far as like a really flattering look, it is a bit much for me. But let's go over the products individually. So we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. And guys, I really enjoy this eyeshadow palette. Now, for me, this is going to have to be used in conjunction with other palettes. While all these colors are gorgeous and they go very well together just for the looks that I'm seeing from this palette I need to incorporate some mattes and different textures in the look whatever I choose to accompany this palette 
this palette is going to make that look absolutely stunning. So I would say of the three palettes, this one is probably going to be my most used. It's not my favorite though. Nocturnal Nirvana is my favorite just because that one you can create a full look with and it's just the most unique in the collection. But this one has the colors that I am more likely to go for in an everyday setting. While Nocturnal Nirvana is my favorite, this one is the most glittery and it's like pinky rose colors. So I just know I'm going to use this one more. So I really like this, but don't expect to be able to pack this in your travel bag and go. I would say this is great for somebody who wants to try the glitter formula from Pat McGrath. Not all of the shades in here are glittery, but the majority of them are quite glittery. If you didn't want to shell out the big hundred plus dollars for the big mothership palettes, this is a good way to not spend that money all at once and you're only getting that amazing formula. So I actually think this palette is quite special so I definitely am very happy about it. Now the Chroma Lux Highlight Cream. It's very neat. It does dry down like even when I'm touching it I'm not really picking up much glitter to it so you do have to work fast. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to have to give this a wear test on the eyes though. From what I can tell I imagine it's going to wear very pretty on the eyes and for a long time as well. As far as a highlight for me it's just not my taste. If you like a glitter highlight, if you go raving or club or any of that stuff. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't leave my house. I definitely don't go clubbing. So this is not for me, but it is really pretty. And I think if you have a deep skin tone, you are going to love this. Gold highlights like this are really going to pop against your skin. I do wish she came out with different colors in here. Something maybe a bit, little bit more light. Something like a really pretty diamondy light pink would have been really pretty for the lighter skin tones because this is going to look weird if you're extremely fair but as an eye color I think this is gonna be a really great way to get a glitter effect that's long wearing on your eyelids so I don't necessarily think that this is worth the money I think it's really pretty and it is a good formula for what it is but you have to be looking for something specific to really like this all right so those are the two new products that I picked up from Pat McGrath's obsessive opulence collection pretty exciting cool holiday products I have to admit they're really great. If you like glitter, these are for the glitter lovers. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And make sure you check out my video with the other two palettes from this collection. I definitely go into a lot more detail about the palettes and their purposes. But uh, yeah, so thanks guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.